Hi, my name is Lauren. I have I run a business called Crazy Fab. I do custom suspension, roll cages, tube work, anything really custom metal wise. Today we have Dark Yoda's third gen Tacoma. We're going to tow it for 37s uh, just to, to basically do a little breakdown. Um, first thing I'm going to do is take the battery, remove the negative so we don't arc anything out, any computers, you know, systems or anything like that. Um, and then we'll get the interior. We'll strip out the interior, so we'll take the floor mats out. We'll take um, like the foam pad out, the plastics, anything in that area out of the way so nothing catches on fire and we can easily cut. Uh, there's also wiring in the by the body mount as well as in the A pillar there, so we don't want to get that anything melted. Then we'll have a lot bigger issues. So get all that cleared away and then we'll put some uh, fireproof blanket in there to, to protect everything before we start cutting. And then from there, uh, we will we're clearing for 37s, so for, uh, for the, the truck to clear 37s for a SEMA build. Um, so we're gonna put it back up on the lift once everything's stripped out in the interior and we're gonna mark it out and start cutting and see uh, how much we need to do. See all that? All oh, that'll catch fire. See, that's why I gotta take it all apart. Let's see if that thing will. All right, so we pulled up back the carpet, uh, all the foam and the wiring, all the harnesses, and um, there's a bunch of sound deadening that's kind of like a weird uh, carpet type material that's easily flammable so what we did is we pulled all that out we got it down to bare metal and then we shoved a fire blanket in there uh, that way we can cut to a tub for the, the 37s and not have to worry about fires so this is the end cab portion where we put the fireproof blanket and removed all the electronics and then this portion down here will be where the body mount is below the cab so we don't have to worry as much about that portion but we still need to clearance it there's a whole bunch of different layers under here so i don't want to just cut into it and you know go too far ruin something and make it hard to fix so basically just taking out in sections so i can see what's going on underneath before i make the clearancing all right so this is where the area where it was hitting the most with the 35 we don't have a 37 so ideally you'd put the 37 on and you'd measure your clearance with the tire but we took an inch and a half out which should be plenty um, on this area and then all of this just kind of smoothed it up to, to flow it and make it look a little bit cleaner um, so now basically we'll make a new panel clean all the sound deadening off so that we can get it ready for welding just adding a couple bead rolls into the panel kind of just looks a little bit better but also a lot adds strength um, keeps it you know from vibrating making thin sheet metal sounds so plus it looks cool so basically i'm still final fitting it i'll slowly tack around and get it all fitted where i want it and then i will go through and stitch weld it um, to get it all permanent and then we'll seam seal it and weld a little bit on the inside back to the floor and then shoot some paint. All right, so we just completed this side. Uh, we still got to put the interior back together, but basically cut a clearance an inch and a half and then made a new panel for it and then stitch welded it in to allow for a little bit of flex and then seam sealed it just to keep water and whatnot out. Uh, so now that it's all welded, painted, and uh, sealed up, we're going to put the interior back together. Pretty simple. Just uh, the, the carpet back in, plastics, footrest, and the floor mat. And then ready to go. All right, so that was a quick little process, video process of tubbing the fenders. Uh, so basically things to keep in mind. Fire blanket, make sure you undo all the wiring, make sure you get the carpet as far away as you can and then get the fire blanket up in there and then just cut little portions until you know what, how far you need to go. Um, we did have a little tiny fire. It happens sometimes, but we had water handy, so keep water handy as well. 
Um, nothing was hurt, so that's good. And now it should be able to clear 37s. So if you guys liked it, uh, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, and uh, till next time. Thank you.